McTeeny Gamer here, and I have to get this video out before, well, you know whose banner ends. So yeah, we have nine days remaining as the time I'm recording this video, and I have to do a showcase video for both Jane and Seth. Yes, Seth will be coming up, um, but he will be released on a later date, the uh, showcase video on Seth, because, well, I have to do Shiyu defense, and I have to do... Spiral Abyss, well, it is coming up in a couple of days, so I have to upload those first before I move on to Seth. But anyways, enough about that. You're here to see the Jane Showcase video, right? So um, I'm just going to be doing the same thing as always. I'm just going to be showcasing Jane and a lot of stuff. We're going to be putting her in teams. We're going to be fighting bosses. We're going to be uh, showing her in mob fights, etc, etc. You know the drill by now. So here it is. Here is the Jane Doe showcase video. So here we have Jane Doe, um, at least my build of her. Um, the reason why I showcase my build first, if you haven't seen a showcase video on my channel before, is to give you a broader scope and also to give you a understanding on what Jane Doe is, what you should build her with, or you could take inspiration from my build, etc, etc. What I'm just trying to say is, it basically will just give you insight on what Jane Doe is capable of. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, here we are with my Jane Doe build. Uh, she is minimally built. And by minimally built, I mean most of her stuff isn't even level maxed yet. So as you see here, she's at level 50. Level 50 is basically a comfortable zone for most agents in the game. So uh, yeah, um, level 60 takes 400,000 Denny's. Yeah, that is very expensive. So I can only afford to get her to level 50. I might get her to level 60 soon because she is a really fun agent to play. Um, well, <laughs> we also have um, her two most important stats right here, of course. We have attack and AP or anomaly proficiency. Um, the most important stat you want to get with her is Anomaly Proficiency because the more AP you have, the stronger her Assault Damage is. And her whole kit is based around Assault Damage um, because she is an Anomaly character who has fast Anomaly buildup um, because of her core skills and her passives. So yeah. Um, you can also put Attack too if you want. Um, attack also gets boosted by um, Assault Damage as well, so you can just give higher Attack for more Assault Damage. It is also scaled off of this order, so you can just run attack for this order. It's pretty, pretty great. Um, if you are, uh, if you do want fast um, assault damage as well, you can go for anomaly mastery. The more AM you have, the faster your assault is, which is why I went for AM. AM is usually the uh, better one. Um, if you do want consistent assault damage, but if you're confident that your Jane or any other anomaly character can just build up assault fast without using AM, then you can just run attack. Attack um, will boost more damage, so it's either- it just- it just depends. It's either you want AM for fast, consistent um, assaults, or you want attack um, for more damage. But either way, uh, that is what Jane don't want. She wants AP, attack, and then if you really do want AM on your 6th slot, you can just run that as well. Um, as for the skills that I have on her, um, she is at core level 4. Um, the comfortable range for cores usually is core level 5. But, well, I don't have mats. So yeah, I can't even do that. So, um, core level 4 is okay, I guess. You can just um, make do with it. But... Um, you really do want to level up her core the most. Um, it is everyone's best interest, um, aka every single agent's best interest to level up core because core is what their abilities are. And for Jane's case, it literally gives her assault um, and also boosts the uh, damage of her assault by 40% of her crit rate, 50% crit damage, which means that she is going to crit on assault. Um, at minimum, she is going to be doing at least... 45% uh, crit rate with 100% crit damage on Assault because the base stats for um, agents in the game is 5% crit rate, 50% crit damage. So yeah. Um, and it's also pretty easy to trigger too because all you have to do is enter the Gnaw state and when you get a flinch effect, um, you are basically able to do a ton of damage. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. 
And also, of course, um, the more AP you have, the higher your crit rate is. So it is also worthwhile to get her a lot of AP because the more AP she has, the higher crit rate she has. Also, her additional ability is pretty good too. Um, it does give her more anomaly buildup rate. And I did give her AM right here. Um, the reason why I wanted to give her AM is because she could trigger assaults faster. She is basically one of the fastest um, agents in the game who can do uh, anomaly buildup pretty fast. Um, the only other agent in the game that I could think of that can um, trigger this fast is Piper and Grace. Yeah, those are the only two that can just build up really, 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 really fast. And very soon, probably Bernice, but we have to figure out, well what her kit is before we do that but um as you see here um that's the reason why i gave her uh the stats that she does is because it involves her passives her core skills her core skills uh, mainly for every single agent you want to focus on stats that benefit on core skills so yeah and as for skills she is basically minimally built seven 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 um well the reason why i don't want to level it up any further is because it's expensive Look at this. Super, super expensive. But, um, seven is usually the comfortable range for most agents because once you get past seven, you have to use four or at least A rank chips. Yeah, you have to use A rank chips, aka, well, I guess I'll just put it in simpler terms purple chips. You have to use purple chips to level up your skills at that point. So, yeah, um, seven is usually the comfortable range if you don't want to go anything past that for certain uh, skills that you don't want to level up. But as for the main skill priority, um, I would say, of course, core. Obviously, core is the first. Um, but if you don't count core, basic. Basic is really, really good on Jane. Jane's going to be doing basics a lot. You're going to be doing a ton. And I mean a ton of assault damage and as well as um, increase her anomaly buildup rate. Her dodge is also pretty good too, mainly specifically because she is a uh, really, really good dodge agent and most of her kit revolves around dodge the more dodge you have the the higher your anomaly buildup is it's extremely extremely good so yeah um you are going to be dodging a lot with this agent so yeah it's a pretty pretty good investment to get over here um another uh, skill you want to level up to is ex ex does a ton of anomaly buildup as well so it's pretty good in a pitch if you really do want to get extra anomaly buildup to trigger assault Chain is also pretty good too, with ultimate of course, because she is probably going to be your main DPS for the most part. But if you are going to be running her as a secondary or a sub DPS, then chain isn't really that important. But still, it still does pretty pretty good anomaly build up regardless. Assist is probably the weakest one. You're probably never going to use assist unless you are running um, other agents that require you to use assist on defensive assist, like running no stun agents, etc, etc. So yeah. Um, the most important stats for Jane, of course, is probably going to be basic dash. Yeah, basic and dodge is going to be your main skills that you want to level up first. And as for equipment right here, um, for my Jane um, build, it could be different for you as well. I ran 4-piece Fang Metal. 4-piece Fang Metal, um is really really good on Jane and is also one of her best four piece sets. The reason why I don't want to run Freedom Blues is because well we could just look at Grace because Grace has a uh, four piece Freedom Blues. When you do EX special um, and it hits an enemy you reduce the anomaly build up res. That's good right? The thing is Jane gets built up on normals not EX normals unlike Grace. Grace uses EX but Jane uses normals, so that's the reason why I don't give her uh, four piece freedom blues, even though it is usually the best choice for anomaly agents. But um, all of her anomaly buildup is not from EX. The agents that do use EX, like Piper or Grace, yeah, that's perfect for them. But for Jane, of course, it's not. So her next best set is four piece Fang Metal, which is her best set. <laughs> so yeah. Um, when you do trigger assault, you get an additional 35% damage. Yep, that is really, really good on an agent who specializes in assault damage, which is Jane, which is the perfect four-piece set. And of course, since she really does want anomaly proficiency all the time, Freedom Blues is going to be her best two-piece set, of course. The next um, best two-piece set is going to be Bernice's two-piece set, because that also gives AP plus 30, which is pretty, pretty good. And also, of course, um, I have her W engine, her main W engine, which is Sharpened Stinger. As you notice here, it's level 20. 
Yeah, it's level 20. It's level 20, and she has 400 AP. 400 AP. Yeah. So you're gonna be seeing her hit high numbers a lot, and this is, isn't even fully maxed out. If it's fully maxed out, she would be at 500 AP. Yep, she'll be at 500 AP. And also, of course, if her core is maxed out too, she'll also be at 500 AP. Yep, she has really, really good potential. This is just going to be a 400 AP Jane showcase for the most part. But I just wanted to show you that I don't have everything fully maxed out and she performs really, really well. And, well, I can't, well, prove it unless I actually play the game. So, with that being said, we're going to be moving on to Hollow Zero. We're going to be showcasing Jade at her for glory in Hollow Zero. So, without any further ado, let's just go there. Alright, so here we are at Hollow Zero. So, uh, well, before we start, I have to say something. Um, this is probably going to be one of the few last times you're ever going to see me do a TV run on Hollow Zero. And that's because in 1.2, you can skip that now. So yeah, it's just going to be all battles, which is pretty, pretty nice. It means that the showcase videos are going to be way shorter because the TV segments take too long. So yeah, but well, enjoy this while it lasts because well, um, here we go. Here we're going to be just showcasing Jane in the hardest Hollow Zero, which is Withering Garden. And of course, I'm not going to be putting any ether activities because we have to showcase Jane at her best possible scenario. So yeah. Well, anyways, here is the lineup that I'm going to be bringing. This is all of Jane's best partners. So yeah, I see here we have Chingy, who is the best stunner in the game. Um fight me on that one um she's also the best agent in the game also fight me on that one uh, i i still stand by it chingy is the best agent in the game um we have seth here who is jane's best partner because he gives ap to party members the only problem is that he, um if we do quick assist it's just gonna be going to chingy and chingy doesn't need that so we have to specifically go for a chain attack with them which is pretty pretty weird um, even if we don't get Seth, we have Grace. Grace is also pretty good too. We can run a double anomaly team. We can also run Piper with double um, assault, which is pretty good. And we have Shuiyun, who is also pretty good with Jane um, for a quick swap team. And then we have the Bangbu of choice, of course, the Officer Bangbu, Officer Kui, who is at level 50. So yeah. Um, well, without any further ado, we basically have everything that we need. Um, let's just get this started. So yeah. Um, before, uh, well, this loads, I have to say that, uh, I didn't start this video, um, yet. I, I could have started the Jane Showcase, like, um, as soon as Jane released. But, because of Seth, I had to build him. So, yeah, that's the reason why the video was so delayed for so long. And that's because I had to build Seth. Because Seth is Jane's best partner. If I don't showcase Jane at her maximum potential, then yeah, I, I would have done a disgrace on her. But um, we're going to be choosing the Assault uh, Rezonia. Of course, we're going to be choosing all of the um, Onslaught Rezonia uh, to get a lot of uh, stuff for Jane. And Jane's going to be popping off. So yeah. Um, the funny thing is, since Jane's kit is so unique, you can actually clear, um, a lot of content solo. Yeah, she is one of the few agents in the game who could, uh, clear content solo. So, yeah. Well, anyways, let's see what we get. Okay, we get her best partner already, so we're gonna be putting Seth in position too. Alright, pretty, pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna be choosing this. Let's see if we get a good, um, Rizonia buff. Uh, 20% HP, anomaly damage increase. Yeah, we're gonna, need, we're gonna be doing this. We don't have to fight that much battles, I'm pretty sure. So, I think we'll be good. Alright, um, we're gonna be saving our coins. We don't have enough to buy an S rank, um, thing. So, yeah. Okay, so all we have to do is fight two battles. So, of course, we're just gonna be fighting the two battles that are in front of us right now. So, let's just do that. Uh, we're gonna be going for the time trial. This is gonna be our first battle. So let's do it. It's either gonna be a first battle or we just collect coins or we break boxes. It really- it's really weird how time trials work or like those, uh, event limited mini games because they just let you do random stuff. I think- I'm pretty sure this is gonna give you the coin collecting one. I'm pretty sure. It has to be, right? 
Is it the coin collecting one? Okay, it's not the coin collecting one. Um, we just have to beat a powerful enemy by not taking any damage. Okay, well, we do have the really bad, um, Rizonia uh, debuff that we have, which reduces our anomaly buildup, but our anomaly damage is increased by a crap ton. So if we do land this, um, it'll be pretty, pretty good for us. Yeah, there we go. As you see there, 100k raw. Yep. And that's with no Seth buff, by the way. Alright. Okay, that was half of his health. Pretty nice. Okay, now we just have to run through and avoid everything. Luckily, Jane has a pretty good dodge, as you see there. Um, but she can only use it for a certain number of times, unless she's in Passion State. If she's in Passion State, she can spam the absolute crap out of it. Okay, now we can use Seth. Now we can use his uh, EX. So we're going to be doing that real quick. We're going to be switching... Okay, never mind. I guess Jane just finishes them off because she's is that broken. Yep, we didn't even need to use Seth, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, um, Jane is popping off for us. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, we're going to be, I guess, the only Rizonia that we could catalyze is these two. You know, why not? Let's just do it. We get physical damage bonus. Pretty nice. And then the next one we get... Oh, I guess we do get a, a care package. We're going to be taking the reduced um, pressure. Pretty nice. All right. Right here, I think this will be the second battle. And then we get the full buff. So we are not basically debuffed um, now. Which is pretty nice. I mean, that means Jane can just perform at her full potential. Okay. Well, let's just let Jane do all the work right here. Yeah, there you go. Casual 200k. Yep. She's just that good. Yep, that's casual 200k. Um, she also has pretty good combos too. I'll showcase that as well. Um, we do have some passion meter left that we can burn through. So yeah, we can showcase how much um how much combo she has. She has pretty flexible combos for the most part. So she can do this. So dash normal, dash normal, dash normal. Um, that's also a really, really good combo because it lets you dodge a lot of stuff. Alright, now we do EX. Let's do that. And then we do the hold. And then we switch to Jane, and then Jane gets the anomaly buildup buff. So let's do EX. You, how much damage? It does 280,000 damage. Alright, um, let's do the tech. So dash, dash, dash. Yep. And see there, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, the maximum amount of dashes that she can um, do, by the way, if you are wondering, is 6. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth one, she's forced to do the dash attack. So, yeah, you can't juggle them forever, unlike certain uh, agents with a dash attack juggle. So, um, just keep that in mind if you are going to be juggling with Jane. Same when she isn't in the passion state. When she's not in the passion state, um, she doesn't get that uh, free juggle that she wants. So, yeah. Okay, we are getting... We are getting a lot of... Holy crap, we're getting a lot of uh, roulettes. Pretty, pretty good. Um, let's reduce pressure for now. And then let's see what's in the shop. Okay, that's a dodge one. Um, daze, crit damage. Yeah, nope. None of these interest me. So let's just move on. All right. So, uh, yeah, as you see there, it's just pretty, pretty easy to get, um, Jane to do a lot of damage. All she has to do is literally just be on the field and do normals. She's literally one of the easiest uh, agents to play in the game because of that. Well, anyways, now you're gonna see more Jane gameplay. So we are gonna be um, using dodges. The more dodges she does, um, the higher um, her gauge goes, by the way, if you are wondering. Okay, we're gonna be doing EX. We're gonna be holding it this time. And then we're gonna be doing uh, Seth's thing there we go and now um now jane has the shield all right we're gonna be okay we didn't dodge that but we still had um we still have seth's shield seth's shield is pretty pretty good all right there we go all right we're gonna be doing it again all right let's see how much damage she does kablam nine hundred thousand with i think that's with seth buff i'm pretty sure Okay, we're gonna be doing it again. Alright. Let's do the charge. There we go. You can switch to Jane. 
Let's do EX, see how much damage this does. 400,000, that's without days. Um, by the way, if you are wondering, um, the if you do have days on an agent or days on an enemy, they do more damage, of course. Um, there we go. <laughs> nice! Alright, we beated the first floor. But, um, as I was saying, um, you want the enemy to be stunned if you want to do the maximum amount of assault damage because there's a stun damage multiplier. And, um, the perfect partner for this is Ching Yi because Ching Yi increases the stun damage multiplier. The more the stun damage multiplier is, the higher your assault damage becomes. It is a basically a no-brainer, um, that you want to bring a stun character. But you don't need to bring one. Um, as you saw there, Jane could do raw damage, which is pretty, pretty good. So, yeah. Well, anyways, we can just look at this. Uh, concentrated sedatives. That reduces the pressure, I think. We could also obtain one Rizonia. Let's reduce the pressure. Yeah. We're going to be uh, going for a lot of things anyway. Let's lose uh, gear coins. Okay, never mind. I guess that was pretty good. We didn't lose any gear coins. Okay, uh, let's see who rings up. Shuiyun! Okay, we're gonna be receiving support from Shuiyun. We're gonna be putting her in position too. There we go. Oh, that means we have the quick swap team um, on uh, standby. Okay. Um, that means we can potentially get Shuiyun's um, event. So I'm gonna be staying silent here if there is gonna be an event. Don't be so nervous, Faithen. We're partners now, not playing cat and mouse. Uh, does that sound a bit weird coming from me? So I'm not going to hurt you. At least, not right now. But uh, there's one more thing. <laughs> That hesitant look of yours is just like his, too. Well, let's get moving. We have work to do. Despite showing up uninvited, welcome to my lounge, Faithen. Your nervous look reminds me of someone. A little friend I'm fond of. I just love watching him try to hide that awkward smile. That's not very nice. Public security operations may requisition civilian quarters as necessary in disaster zones. That's a useful policy I've memorized. I've worked really hard to help you take down those bad guys in the hollows. So, I think finding a comfy place to rest is a justified necessity. Also... We are now accomplices. Mr. Suspect. Alright, there you go. There is Jane Doe's event. I honestly thought we were gonna get Seth's uh, or Shui Yun's for the most part. But since I do have Jane as leader, I guess we just got it. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, Jane now has the Rizonia right here um, that unlocks her Mindscape Cinema Crime Council. So, um, you can immediately follow up with certain attacks, so she basically gets a new set of combos. She also, um, gets another, uh, I guess I could say the charge attack. I forgot what her charge attack is, but it's the one where she spins around like a Beyblade. Yeah, um, sh I think it's called, uh, Selcho Jump. Yeah, Selcho Jump, uh, it says right here. So you get an extra Selcho Jump. Which is pretty, pretty nice. She also um, gets a lot of anomaly build up as well. So yeah, we're going to be seeing Jane pop off some really, really good numbers. You thought 900,000 was good? Well, we're going to be seeing a lot more. And she also gave us a free lockpick for certain doors, of course. So that means we can ignore a lot of stuff. Which is, um, what well, you saw right there, we ignored a lot of things. Of course, we're going to be depositing a lot of stuff here. We're not going to be withdrawing anything, really. Um, I only do that just to a uh, stockpile on stuff. So yeah. But anyways, let's see what this has. Okay, crit damage increase, pressure, um, assist, defensive assist, follow up damage. Okay, um, we're gonna be going for the uh, 
Let's do the uh, Magician Glove. Magician Glove is pretty good. Alright. Since we did get an achievement S rank, we do just get this for free. Um, I did get all the uh, Z merits for uh, my previous run because I ran out of uh, Denny's. If uh, if you uh, guys are wondering. So yeah, that's the reason why, I, uh, why that box is gray. Um, we don't have any pressure, so we can't just take the gear coins. And everyone's pretty healthy for the most part. Uh, gear coins. Yes, we're gonna be spending a lot to get a Rizonia, of course. There we go. Okay, let's continue onwards. Um, uh, we just have to fight two combats. Okay, um, we could go up and down, um, but... These are way too risky, so I'm just going to be going forward. There we go. Okay, we got Grace. Um, This will be better than having Shuyun on the team, so we can't just put... Uh, we can't just put Grace. Uh, Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, We can get a random Onslaught. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay. Uh, and then we're just going to be moving forward right here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking Onslaught, of course. Okay, we are on the second set of screens. Okay, it looks like the finish line's over there. Okay, um, in order for us to do the maximum amount of, um, maximum amount of battles, we have to take this route, so we're gonna be going over here, here, here. Yeah, I think that'll be a good route, uh, we can take. Uh, let's use this to get a concentrated medicine. Uh, can we replace anything? Uh, these? These kind of suck. I I'm gonna be replacing that. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we get here. Uh, hopefully some easy enemies. Not the hive, um, bees. Those hive, uh, hollows. I, I, I just hope- I just hope it's not those. Or those hive- Oh, never mind, it is! It's the- Uh, it's the- it why? Of course it had to be them. Okay. We're gonna have to fight these bees. Alright, 400,000 damage. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna be doing Seth charge. Um, looks like we can bring it to Grace. I guess we can just have Grace pop off for a second. There we go. Disorder. Pretty nice. There we go. Easy peasy. Yep. He's pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we're gonna be picking the Onslaught Pitchfork, of course, right here. More Onslaught, the better. We can go down now. If you need more, I'll figure something out. And then after we battle this um, Ethereal, I'm pretty sure we are gonna be getting the uh, passive um, changed for our Rizonia, meaning that we don't have to lose assist points. So that's good. Alright, let's see what this um, this challenge is. Okay, it's just more, more Ethereals. It's those phantom types too. 400,000 on Assault. You, like, this is absolutely ridiculous damage. 300,000, 500,000, just casual. Casual Jane damage right there. No assists, by the way. No support whatsoever. Yeah. Um, if we are going to be fighting the, uh, the Queen um, or the Hive uh, Master, um, I would say... Or like, as I say, um, she is going to be popping off the 1 millions. Uh, no doubt about it. Okay. Are we going over here? Alright, let's see what we get here. Um, the main goal for us is to try to get uh, Ching Yi as fast as possible. Because Ching Yi will basically boost our damage up to like oblivion. It's just way, she's just way too good. Alright, Jane, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have to play strategically now. Um, we doing the dodge attacks. Oh. Alright, so one dodge. And we're giving this. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're gonna have to throw um, EXs with Grace as well. We're gonna be charging up with Seth. Kablam, blam, blam, blam. Blam. Okay, we have his uh, meter ready just in case we need to do something with it. All right, there we go. 400,000 assault. We just have to build up as much stun as we can um, with these uh, agents. 
Yeah, but as you see there, look at how fast she dodges in um, Passion State. You could spam the absolute crap out of that if you want. If, if, in case you like, you feel threatened. Yeah, as you see there, I spammed it a lot. And yeah, you could just dodge for, to Oblivion. She's just way too good. Alright. We are not in Passion State right now, so we do have to be careful about his moves. Okay, never mind. I guess I am up close, so I can't just dodge all of his stuff, really. Alright, let's do EX. Okay, I missed that. We're gonna be doing it again. There we go. Okay, that that basically gives us a chance to do Seth stuff. And then we can do Jane. See how much damage this does? There we go. And then we can do Seth again. And then we could do Officer. And we could switch to Jane again. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. We're going to be trying to do as much um, Assault as we can. Alright, let's do uh, let's do Seth again. Okay, yeah, he's pretty low, so we can't just do the charge. And we kill Jane. And we could cancel that. Look at that damage! You, you just saw that, right? That's on a stunned enemy. That's on a stun enemy. That is the maximum amount of damage she can do without a stun. Yeah, well, which means that she doesn't get any stun damage multipliers from Chingy. Imagine that with Chingy! Just imagine that with Chingy. Um, the re only reason why I cancelled the animation is to basically show you what the numbers are with for her. And you, you saw that, right? The numbers don't lie. She does so much damage. Um, we're gonna be doing this. It increases the agent's damage for uh, 30%, which is pretty nice. So we are gonna be using some EXs here and there. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good investment right there. Tame to Rizonia, why not? These are basically free. Um, we're gonna be skipping that. They let us skip one for free, so that's pretty nice. We're going here. Let's see if we get Ching Yi. Yes, we do! We got one of the best supports. Okay, we got Ching Yi. We're gonna be going for energy. Uh, decibel rate is pretty good too. Okay, pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so um, we're gonna be doing this. Let's see if we do get um, any special events because there is still a possibility that we do get a special event. We have uh, one for Chingy and for Seth, so I'm gonna be staying silent just in case for you guys. So, yeah. Okay, never mind. I guess we didn't get it, but still, um, we still have a chance. We have one more chance to get an additional um, Agent Rizonia. Um, hopefully it's probably like Ching Yi's or Seth because Seth is at MC0 for me, so I can't really, um, showcase, uh, Jane at her maximum potential. But the more MC that, um, I think Seth has, the stronger your anomaly uh, agents are because he gets additional buffs, um, on his kit, which is pretty nice overall if you do, uh, main those anomaly teams. Okay, so this is the final stretch of, uh, Hollow Zero. Okay, um, gear coins, obviously. And let's just move up. Alright, so we are at, um, Rizonium 2, Advanced Rizonium 2. So, we can, we can try to fish for stuff, but I don't think, yeah, we don't have any negative effects so far, so we can just keep going. So, let's just go up here. Um, enemy from behind increased damage by 25%. We're gonna be doing more days. It means that Xing Yi is able to stun faster. Piper, well, uh, we don't need Piper anymore because we do have Jane's best team on standby. So we're just gonna be taking an assault right there. Pretty nice. Okay, so we can take the bottom or the top route. We're gonna be taking the bottom route. Um, just to get a additional, um, stuff. So let's do, um... Uh, Let's do a Bang Boo plugin. Okay, never mind. We got an unusable one. That's pretty bad. Um, we're gonna be exchanging supplies. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see what the shop has. Duel. Okay, duel. Um, we do have a risky transaction. Okay, nope. None of these interest me, so we are not gonna be taking those, unfortunately. Thank you. Okay, we have a random floor. This could be either good or bad for us, but we're gonna be taking it anyway. Okay, it's a Rizonia floor. I will take it. Alright. We're going here. Let's see what we get. 
Oh, look at this. Assault increased crit rate or energy. We're going to be taking the crit rate. Of course, that boosts her damage. There we go. All right. Uh, dodge, critical, um, crit rate increase, uh, one stack of agility, perfect grants shield. We're going to be taking the... Uh, we are going to be taking the uh, dodge. Dodge is pretty good. We do have, um, yeah, we do have sedative, so we can just use that to go down here and get the last one. Okay, shock damage, increase an enemy, uh, or defeating an enemy, uh, increase bang crit damage. We're gonna be choosing the, uh, this one, because Ching Yi is going to be, uh, doing a lot of shock damage, since she is just gonna be spamming third basic a lot of the time, so yeah. Alright, we could just take these. All right, so we can go up. Up is bad because this is a really special tile that will screw us over. So we're going to be going down. All right. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully, um, some easy enemies. It is a red. It is a red um, tile after all. But I'm pretty sure Jane will just pop off like always. And we do have a lot of Rosonia on our belt that boosts Jane damage. So yeah. Well, anyways, here we go. Oh, this is one of the few annoying enemies in uh, Hollow Zero. Alright, let's see how much damage she does on Raw. 500,000! Yep, she performs those types of numbers. Um, we're gonna be doing this. And let's do this. There we go, we can switch to Jane. There we go, look at that damage. What? One million. No, no, no stun damage multiplier boost, by the way. Um, I'm gonna be saving that for specifically the, uh, queen boss, of course, the hive queen boss. Um, we're gonna be saving that for, of course, future purposes. Uh, chain attacks deal 30% more damage. Oh boy, this is gonna be it, really. We're gonna be taking that, of course. Alright, we get some supplies. Um, we're gonna be taking the, uh... I guess we could take the HP. Yeah, let's take the HP. Alright. Now we are at the last floor of Hollow Zero. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully some pretty good stuff. Okay. Uh, gear coins. We don't need that. Um, as we are now. We could just catalyze this. We did lose a lot of HP, so we do get the maximum buff right there. Yep. Alright, now we have uh, the last uh, resting camp here in, um, well, over here. But we do have a lot of stuff to spin because we do have a roulette right here. Um, but let's see if we do get a special event. So I'm going to be staying silent like always. Let's see if we do get a special event. Okay, no special event, but we do have a heal, which is pretty, pretty good. Okay, so um, let's just go up here. Let's take the heal, of course. And then, well, okay, this is one of the HP ones. Uh, increase, uh, launch, launching a chain attack increases chain, okay. Um, dodge, dual, uh, enemies are 10% stun longer. Pen ratio by 10%. Yeah, all these are pretty, pretty, um, weird. Okay, now it's time to actually spin out the last thing we have, which is a, uh, short distance collection. All right. If we get lucky here, pretty, pretty good. It means that we get more Rizonia, um, more bang for our buck. Okay, let's pull four times. Let's see what we get. Okay, one of them. We got one of the sevens. Alright, now we have two more rolls that we have to do. Oh no, four more rolls. Okay, never mind. I guess we won't get the triple seven here. And then let's see what the final spin is. Okay, yep. This is kind of useless. Alright, so we walked away with uh, some coins and that's basically it. Okay, so we got... Okay, so we just got a blue tile. Okay, that was not- that was kind of bad, but we still got a lot of stuff um, for the most part, I guess. I guess I'll just take it. Okay, 
It's time for the final battle, and it's time to showcase Jane at her maximum power. Alright. So let's just move over here. We're gonna be, of course, um, having Seth get his, uh, his meter up first. So he is first priority, um, for the team. So I'm gonna be, uh, getting his meter up so we are ready to do his, uh, charge attack at any time. Chingy's just gonna be staying there doing Chingy stuff. And then Jane's just gonna be doing Jane stuff, of course. We're gonna be having her close to the assault damage threshold. So basically halfway through assault. So... Okay, it looks like he isn't at EX yet, so we can't just let Jane do her thing. So let's try to get um, the queen to half assault. Okay, he is at half, so we now we can use Seth. And then now we switch to Chingy and let her do her work. Alright. Let's do charge attacks, of course. Um, keep the stun damage uh, multiplier um, at a all-time high. Alright, let's keep going. This will be the second charge. There we go, we got the dodge in. Okay, she is pretty close. One, two, three, four, five. We could dodge this one. Alright, now we do Seth. Now we switch to Jane. Now we cancel, and let's see how much damage she does. Look at that! You saw that, right? One million! One million! We can do two EXs and see again. One million again! Yeah, she is... She is super busted. She's really, really super busted. Alright. Okay, now all we have to do now is finish um, the boss off. But yeah, as you saw there, one million damage with Rezonia. Super, super, super broken. Um, without Rezonia, she's probably going to reach around the 500,000s. We are going to be finding out soon though, of course, because we are going to be um, going for bosses after this. Okay, oh, that was a bad dodge. We're going to be abusing Chingy dodge to increase the meter of her uh, charges. There we go, we got a good dodge in. Now we just keep going. Let's do a charge. I think she is going to be going to her other phase. I, I don't really like that. Okay, let's do EX. There we go. Let's switch back to Chingy. Let's do a dodge right here. That gives us enough time to do at least one more um, stun opportunity. Alright. Let's do charge! And then let's do Seth. There we go, Jane! And let's do Seth again. Let's do this and then get Chingy out. And then we can do EX, EX. There we go. Nice! Alright! Pretty, pretty good! Um, we didn't let the, uh, Hive Queen, uh, do her thing where she goes upside down. So that's a good thing. Um, so yeah. Well, you saw the damage there, folks. She does that amount of damage. Yep. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> Alright. Well, um, that is it for, a uh, Withering Garden, uh, core. So I am gonna be, of course, showcasing Jane on other fights, of course. And then, um, we're gonna be closing out the video. So, anyways, without any further ado, let's just showcase Jane more in some boss fights. Alright, so here we are at Notorious Hunt, showcasing Jane in two bosses. So, um, I'm gonna be choosing the, uh, Dead and Butcher and the Unknown Corruption Complex. And that's because, well, again, I mean... Uh, all of these are pretty, pretty good bosses to showcase Jane in, but I want Jane to dodge a lot. So these two are going to be the perfect pick for her because they do have large AoE bodies and all of her hits are going to hit. So yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty good for Jane um, to showcase um, what she can do in these bosses. So um, I am going to be choosing two teams that she is basically going to be ran with the most. So the first team I'm going to be showcasing is of course the Jane Seth team. That team is going to be way too good um, to showcase. So we're going to be doing Jane, Seth, and then we're going to be choosing Chingy. This is going to be her best team of course. We do have the PubSec team with Officer Kui. Um, that's going to be the best Bang Boo here because all of them are PubSec agents. And Officer Kui gets chain attack increase and guess what Jane is good at? She's good at chain attacks. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, 
since we have this team on standby, we're gonna be uh, battling the Dead End Butcher. Hopefully, beat it under. Um, hopefully, we can beat it under like three minutes. So yeah. Well, um, this boss is mainly weak against Ether and Ice, but guess what? We're not running those. So we're gonna be, uh, well, running these with the PubSec team. And I think it's gonna be going pretty well. I mean, it's it's Jane Doe. Jane Doe is broken. So yeah. Okay. We're gonna be picking our Rizonia choice. It's gonna be the 10 seconds longer. That's gonna be the Rizonia we're gonna be picking. All right, so let's let Jane do her thing. There we go. We got the perfect parry on the first try, baby. Let's go. All right, and we just let Xingyi do her work. We're doing the charge here. That should basically let us switch to Seth right away. We're going to be holding EX here so we don't trigger the uh, chain attack. There we go. Now we can um, go Xingyi, get Xingyi her shield. And then we're going to be doing charge attack again. Let's just switch to Jane. There we go. 100,000. Yep. Casual damage right there, folks. Alright. I mean, dodging again. We're just going to let Jane finish him off. Um, she does way too much raw damage. Like, even with um, their stun meter being up. There we go. I see there. Look at that damage. Absolutely ridiculous. Dodge again! This should finish him off. There we go. Alright, now let's use Seth to get his meter up. There we go. Now we can switch to Chingy. Now we can just do charges. Dodge! We have to dodge this one too. Let's do charge. There we go. Yeah, uh, Dead End Butcher, you have to dodge a lot. He is a pretty, pretty tough boss. Alright, let's do this. Um, let's do EX. So we can switch to Seth and then do his charge. There we go. Now we can switch to Jane. Jane's gonna get the full buff. Now we can switch to Seth. Now we can switch to, uh, Chingy. This will allow us to switch to Jane immediately. There you go, 200,000 on EX. We could do a burst. EX again. There you go, 100,000 damage. Let's switch to Seth again. There we go. Alright, switch again. Do charge. Uh, get the automatic perfect dodge in. Yeah, but look at how much uh, he attacks. He attacks way too much. Alright. There we go, we can uh, dodge. Now we can um, use Seth again. Let Jane do her work. Okay, we're gonna be staying on Jane. And we're gonna be switching again just to get a lot of shock and then this should do it. Right there, 200,000. Hopefully this will be enough. Yep, there we go. All right, we're not gonna beat it in under three minutes but I'm pretty sure we could beat it in five. All right, let's see. Okay, all right, we're gonna be doing Seth EX again. Um, this does guaranteed um stagger, which is pretty good. Seth EX is actually extremely good. Doing the dodge, we're gonna have to dodge that one too. We did that. All right, let's do this. There we go to avoid that. That attack comes out so fast. All right, charge. We're gonna be switching to Seth. And then we're going to be doing the charge thing again. There we go. We switch to Jane. We switch to uh, Chingy. Then we switch to Seth. Alright. Now we switch to Jane again. Um, this should do enough uh, damage. 200,000. We're doing ult. Should give us more. Yeah, there we go. We got a ton of assault from that. Alright, we're going to do EX, because he is going to attack. We have to stagger him. Uh, I guess he did dodge that. Alright. Okay, we are close. Come on. We can beat the Dead End Butcher. Alright. So far, so good. He hasn't done, like, really ridiculous attacks yet. Okay, never mind. He Just as I about to say that, he does ridiculous attacks. 
All right, now we can switch to Seth. Do the charge attack thingy. Okay, now we go chain again. Chain, chingy, into Seth. Then we could switch to Jane. Let her do her shenaniganery. There we go. 200,000. We're going to be doing the passion state thing. There we go. We're going to be staying on her for a while to get um, some build up. Alright. Let's do the stun again. If he allows us to. There we go. Alright. And he should be pretty close to uh, getting finished right here. Dodge this! There we go! Nice! Let's do another EX. Alright! Okay! Good dodge. Now we can switch to Seth. Um, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna have to stay on Jane. We're forced to. Because we have to finish him off really, really fast. There we go! 100,000 Assault! We're gonna have to keep this up. Alright, let's keep going. Let's do another EX. This should... Yeah, there we go. Finish him off. There we go. Okay, so we haven't exactly gotten it down to three minutes, but keep in mind that the boss is literally not weak to physical. Yeah, he's not weak to physical. So yeah, that, that's the best you could get. But yeah, well, as you see there, uh, Jane does insane amount of damage. She's just way too good. Um, but yeah, um, probably you can manage this team more better than me, but um, I just freshly got Seth built. So yeah, this was basically my first time testing the team. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, there is the, uh, well, the first boss out of the way. It's time to showcase Jane on another team and also fight a second boss. So uh, let's just cut to that. All right, so here we are at the Unknown Corruption Complex. So um, one of our secondary teams that we can run is the uh, Disorder team. And that's with two Anomaly Agents and of course a Stunner, of course. And since the enemy is weak to Electric here, we can run a um, we can run a Jane Doe Grace team, which is also one of our best teams, which is really, really good for, um, well, for this specific team, because, well, as you see here, they are both Anomaly, they build up Anomaly fast, they are just way too good for each other. So yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of Disorder damage here. So, um, of course, I'm going to be choosing the Officer. The Officer is the best bang boo for this, because both of these agents are part of Pupsec. Uh, unlike Grace, Grace is not part of Pupsec, she's part of Bella Bog. But, uh, well, anyways, regardless, let's just showcase this team. Both Agents are fully built, of course. Um, they both have high AP, so you're going to be seeing um, them do a lot of disorder damage and also pop off with their, um, well, their respective attribute damage. So, yeah. Well, anyways, let's get this started. Another Jane showcase. All right. So, the Rezonium here is electric damage, but we are going to be taking the 10% uh, stun damage because it's also really good, too. All right, we're going to be abusing um, the dodge here. There we go. Yeah, this dodge is just way too good. We can just do this now. Charge. We can dodge that. We can abuse Chingy dodge now. There we go. All right, now we do this into Jane. And then into Grace. There you go. So you see, the disorder damage is pretty, pretty good. We can do two EXs here. Um, we do get energy back pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, 300,000! You saw that damage? It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright. We just have to stun um, these enemies faster again. Alright, um, let's do... Let's let... Just, let's, yeah, let's just let Grace do all the work. There we go. And then we can stay on Jane. There we go, 200,000 assault. Okay, now it's time for the Corruption Complex to come out. All right, we're gonna be abusing a lot of dodges here, so uh, let's just try to do that. Oh, never mind. I guess he did the chain, uh, the chainsaw attack first. That attack is probably like one of the most annoying attacks um, that this boss has. All right, there we go. Um, let's just keep this up. Do another charge. Let's do this again. Um, they, she, they are pretty close, so now we can just go Grace, right, Jane, into Chingy, into Grace. 
We do have Grace EX, so we can't just throw that out because why not? There we go. We use EX. Now we do. Um, now we do Alt. Two hundred thousand damage. All right. All right. Now we just rinse and repeat. So yeah, that's how you basically uh, play Jane. You just want her to get some assault damage, and then you just um, do like all your typical um, stuff uh, with the uh, Jane team. You just want to basically get the stun off, then you want to give anomaly build up. I see here with Grace, we can just do that now. Do this, and then we just let Chingy and then Grace do their build up stuff. There we go. And then there we go. Yep. Nice. All right, now we're at its second phase. Okay. All right, it's gonna be doing this 360 thing. Yep, the 360. Okay, now we can go in. All right. Do this. We get a free dodge in. Pretty nice. Um. All right, we can just do charges now. Ex. Okay. All right. Oh, that was not planned. There we go. We got a dodge in. Oh. Okay. Okay, we are close. All right, now we do Grace, and then we do the same thing. So, uh, Jane, Chingy, Grace. And then we do EX again. All right. Let's do EX again. 200,000 damage. There we go. All right, now we do the gnaw attack. 100,000 damage. Okay. Respectable. All right. Hopefully we can just get the um dodge in here. There we go. Nice. All right, we got shock in. Pretty good. It means that he is stunned. All right. Okay, we got a good dodge in too. All right, we are basically at the wire here. Um, this should basically allow us to, yeah, there we go, get the final attack in. All right, this should give us shock. There we go, and now we just let Jane do her work. One hundred thousand on both um damages, by the way. We can do passion state charge. And you can do ex here to basically give off free damage. All right, now we just finish him off. We do have a minute left before we can get the S rank, so let's just um, let's try to finish off strong. There we go. Let's do EX. Charge. There we go, and then let's build it up again. Oh, I did a terrible dodge there. All right, this should give it to us right here, and we use Grace. There we go. Just use Chain, Chingy, of course, and then we go Grace again. There we go. All right. We did it. Oh boy. Okay, so we got the S rank clear on that, but you probably already understand what Jane is capable of. These are bosses. Imagine what she can do in, uh, well, Shiyu defense, where the HP pools are slightly less um, than. Uh, the Torius Hunt, because the Torius Hunt bosses, of course, have a ton of HP. So, yeah. Well, anyways, um, that is it for the Jane Showcase video, or at least the Jane Showcase part of the video. But, of course, as you know, if you saw my Showcase videos, that is not the end of it. We're gonna be, of course, going over her kit and then giving my final thoughts on Jane. So, without any further ado, let's just cut to that. So here we have Jane Doe, or at least that's what she calls herself, from the Criminal Investigation Special Response Team. Or basically, she's just a undercover agent who has the name Jane Doe, even though that's probably not her real name. But anyways, um, enough about that. Uh, we are going to be, of course, talking about her skills and, um, of course, her kit. And... Um, I gotta get this out of the way before we dive into her kit. I'm not gonna be talking about her MC, her Mind Skip Cinema. 
the reason why is because uh, S rank agents in this game are pretty good without Mindscape Cinema. So I'm not going to be discussing what Mindscape Cinema is. If you want to know what her Mindscape Cinema is, you could either read about it or um, I am going to be uh, well talking about her Mindscape Cinema in a future video. So don't uh, well stay tuned for that. But well, anyways, enough about that. Let's just talk about all of her kits. So her core, her passives, basically everything really. Okay, so her most broken thing in her kit is her core skill. Her core skill was is basically just makes Jane Jane because when Jane um, enters the Nas state, it's after you hit an enemy, you basically get flinch and assault damage will increase by 40% crit rate. Um, that is scaled off of level, by the way, and 50% crit damage, which is not scaled. As you see there, it doesn't have the green text. And um, you can increase that crit rate further the more AP you have by 0.16. And it's by each point. This means that you're going to be getting guaranteed crits. Yep. Guaranteed crits. That is inevitable. That is inevitable. She's going to crit all the time, of course. I mean, the more AP you have, the higher your crit damage is. It's just really, 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 really busted. Especially on a agent whose assault... Um, does a ton of damage. She's just gonna be critting a lot. She's just way too good. And of course, her additional ability, you want to run her with her additional ability because with her additional ability, she pops off. She becomes like one of the most threatening agents in the game because of it. Because you get 20% increase anomaly buildup. And also, um, when you are suffering from an attribute anomaly, aka if the opponent is on assault or shock, or basically anything burn, freeze, you get an additional 15% anomaly buildup, which means that if the opponent, which most likely if you are going to be running Jane solo, is in the assault state, aka when the enemy glows orange or yellow, um, you basically do 15% more additional anomaly buildup, meaning that you're going to be proccing this a lot. You're going to be critting non-stop on assault damage. It is way too good. This makes Jane... One of the best anomaly agents in the game, if not the best. Honestly, at this point, it's either Jane or Grace being the best anomaly agent in the game. And I would say Grace is honestly the best because look at how much she builds up. She builds up so fast uh, because of, again, her additional ability. She gets basically 35% increase as long as the enemy is on assault. And guess what? Assault is just way too good. They will stay on assault for a long time, which means that you're going to be getting that 35% guaranteed. And on top of that, the cherry on top, since you are going to be having a lot of AP on her, she's going to be critting all the time. So yeah, um, her skills, however, um, are pretty, pretty good as well as I discussed before, but we could talk about them again. So her basic attack, this is going to be the main thing you want to be leveling up because all of her stuff is built around her passion state. Because when you are in your passion state, you get more physical anomaly buildup, up to 25%. That is busted. And also, if you have AP that exceeds over 120, you get two attack for each extra point with the maximum of 600. You're gonna be getting get, you're gonna be getting this guaranteed. Yeah, you're gonna be getting this guaranteed. This means that you're gonna be doing a ton of assault damage, guaranteed. Yep, pretty pretty good. Remember that you get 25% increase if you're in passion state. This stacks with her core. This stacks with her core. It's just going to be doing a ton of stuff. It's going to be doing a ton for her. She's just way too good. Um, yeah, uh, you can see me gushing about her. Um, if you are in the passion state, you can do the shallow jump. You get one once per bar, by the way. Unless you are, of course, MC1. You get two per bar. But um, if you do that, you can hold that um, and do a special attack where she does a Beyblade spin, which does physical damage. When you use this move, you are invulnerable. You are invulnerable in the finishing move. The finishing move lasts forever. So yeah. And if, of course, if you are going to be holding her uh, basic, you're going to be taking reduced damage as well. Think of it like any other um, agent's attacks that do hold basic like Ellen or Corin. Basically anything that can reduce your um, uh, interruption is pretty, pretty good. So yeah. And of course... Um, it's also one of your main combo tools. It's also one of your main ways to get um, a lot of anomaly buildup. 
uh, especially if you're in the passion state because once you're in the passion state you get this guaranteed so basically um the main optimization that you want to do is when you reach passion you're just going to be doing normal attacks of course when you're at half passion you can hold down the basic button to do a shallow jump and consume your uh consume your shallow jump once you do that you get more passion points so yeah the more passion points you have of course the longer you stay in passion so it's pretty pretty good um this is also a pitch of course um to restore your passion meter and also build it up too yeah you get this even after you spend your passion bar so it's pretty pretty good overall you want to level this up first her basic attack is what makes her uh her yeah she's just really really good with it her second thing that you want to level up is dodge. Dodge for her does so much. When you dodge, you get more passion. When you dodge, you do more combos. It is basically her main bread and butter as well. So, um, because of that, her dash actually juggles. So you can dodge, uh, you can juggle basic enemies. If you're in the passion state and if you do do the dodge attack, if you're in the passion state, it's a big AoE attack. You could basically um, crowd control with it. Yes, you heard me right. You could crowd control with Jane um, if you're in passion state because all of her attacks do a ton and I mean a ton of damage as well as have massive range. It does massive range. It does so much for her that I consider this being her second level up stat. It is extremely, extremely good. Just as much as basic but secondary to that of course because you're not going to be using it as much as basic but dodge is really good don't sleep on this it is one of her best crowd control tools in the game it's also really good to build up passion state as you see there it's extremely extremely good she also has a unique dodge too um most dodges in the game you uh get stopped by enemies for hers you could pass through them yeah which means that you can go behind the enemy it is extremely extremely good her assist is not really that important. I would say it's probably one of her weakest um, skills to level up. And that's because you don't really use it that much unless, unless of course you're doing defensive assist, of course, then yeah, sure, go ahead. But again, she's not a daze character. She's not stun. She's not a support. She is here to be on field to do a ton of assault damage. So this is mainly a least uh, used stat. So probably not level this up unless you really do love Jane and you want to max her out then yeah of course level this up as for special this in my opinion is probably her third most wanted skill to level up and that's because you're gonna be doing EXs a lot to do massive and I mean massive anomaly buildup you could do half a you could do half a bar yeah, you can do half a bar with her EX. It is extremely, extremely busted. This is used in a pinch, of course. If you can't do normals fast enough, you can just use EX to basically uh, clear them out. You're going to be using EX a lot in her kit anyway. So yeah, definitely level this up. And of course, her chain and ult. This is also equal to EX and special. Yes, I would say equal. It's not fourth. It's equal. So yeah, um, because... You're going to be doing chains a lot, of course. If you're using Seth, if you're using Ching Yi, you're going to be using supports a lot. You're going to be using chains. Chains is going to be doing a lot of anomaly buildup for her. It just does way too much. Same with Ultimate. Ultimate does a lot of anomaly buildup. Literally guaranteed 75% assault bar. Yeah, 75% anomaly buildup. Guaranteed. Yep, she is just way too good for her own good. So, yeah. In general, um... In my opinion, well, I guess I could give my closing thoughts here since I did finish um, talking about her kit. So what's the main takeaway of Jane? She's busted. <laughs> She's busted. Tier 0 agent for sure. No contest. You saw the damage. You saw what she's capable of. You saw how she could basically solo the whole game because of how her kit works. She's just way too good. Uh, well, give up to our rat Thyron princess of uh, undercover uh, stuff or undercover agency, uh, Jane Doe, uh, the best anomaly character in the game. No joke. And that is basically it for the Jane Doe showcase video. If you do enjoy this showcase video, if you want to support the channel, be sure to leave a like down below and as well as subscribe to the channel if you are new. And of course, um, thank you guys if you do support the channel by liking and subscribing. It really does mean a lot. Um, it helps to keep you motivated to making more videos for you guys, pumping out content for you. Um, so yeah, uh, again, if you do like and subscribe, 
um, thank you guys for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And as for the comments down below, what do you think of Jane Doe? You think she's good? You think she's bad? Who do you think is the best anomaly agent in the game? You still think it's Grace or do you think Jane Doe took her over? Um, there's a lot to discuss about, so let me know in the comments down below. Anything Jane Doe related is fine. Um, I will try to engage with you guys in the comments down below if you do leave a comment. So yeah, um, can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, as always, Thank you guys for watching this Jane Doe Showcase video, and I'll see you guys in the next Gotcha video.